Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Keed. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a story time about how me and my friends all got banned from the mall. But yeah guys, real quick, I did just want to mention, I do have a Discord server, Instagram, and Twitter, all linked down below in the description. So please be sure to go check those out. And yeah guys, without further ado, let's get on with the story. Yeah, we got some Alright, so my local mall is basically a graveyard at this point. Like, half of the stores up there are closed, and the ones that are open are, like, so freaking weird. Like, the only stores that are open up there include, like, four antique shops that sell, like, lamps and knickknacks. And then there's, like, a clothing store for doctors or something like that. And also, there's some Amish furniture store. So the store we're gonna be focusing on today is the Amish furniture store. So this store is just so weird. It just randomly showed up at the mall one day, and you never see anyone in there. Like, not even any workers or anything it's just like this really weird eerie store that no one knows what it really is and come to think of it i don't really know what they're doing with that Amish store to keep it open because they most certainly are not selling any of their furniture so like there's something weird going on in there okay now on to the actual story it was a friday and me and two of my friends just got off of school so we went up to the mall to go get some food and just walk around or whatever we got food then walked around for a bit and honestly i don't know why we decided to walk around the mall in the first place because like i said that place is dead it is so boring to go to but regardless we made the decision to walk around after eating we walked past the amish store and i don't really remember the context as to of why but we dared my one friend to go jump on one of the amish store beds we didn't think we'd get in trouble for that or anything like because you never see anyone in there we, we just figured it was like an empty store or something like that so he walks through the door and they actually have one of those sensors in the door so it like made a sound whenever someone enters and we didn't really know that so as he walks through the door me and my other friend are waiting outside just to see like five Amish ladies walk out of the back room of the store. I honestly don't even know where these Amish ladies came from, but they just came out of nowhere, dude. It was so weird. It was possibly one of the weirdest things I've seen. But my friend that was in the store uh, didn't even notice them. He was just on a mission to go jump on a bed in the Amish store and dip. So he went straight to a bed, jumped really high up, and body slammed right into one of the Amish beds. Now these Amish beds are actually like really expensive. Like, I, I'm pretty sure they're, like, in the hundreds of thousands of dollars for, like, a bed frame or something like that. Like, this is not cheap stuff. So, the five Amish ladies, uh, let's just say they weren't the happiest. They changed from looking, like, creepily happy, uh, because someone was finally in their store for once, to looking like a devil just possessed each and every one of them. They all ran over to my friend, and they screamed at their top of their lungs to get out of the store. They literally chased him out. It was, like, straight out of a horror film, dude. Like, imagine five real really 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 angry Amish ladies chasing after you like tell me that isn't terrifying then my friend ran off booked it straight to the other side of the mall and me and my other friend were waiting outside uh so then once he ran out we just started walking normally so it didn't really look like we were with him but the Amish ladies came out of the store and started screaming at us like we weren't even the ones who jumped on the bed but they were screaming at us and one of them got on the phone with the police and then me and my friend just booked it now I I'm not in the best shape so I guess you couldn't really say I booked booked it but i mean i was at least slightly jogging at the time so my car was parked on the complete opposite side of the mall and the mall police were already coming on their little segways or whatever uh by the time i made it like halfway across the mall my two other friends had already made it all the way to my car so eventually the police caught up to me and they brought me back to the office now i wasn't even the one who jumped on the bed like i said i was just watching my friend do something stupid but when they were talking to me they acted like it was me who did it they were telling me i could be charged with vandal and all this crazy stuff but once again it wasn't me who jumped on the bed it was my friend so I, I don't know where they were going with that vandalism thing or whatever but around 30 minutes after talking to them and them interrogating me and stuff they took a picture of me filed that stuff and uh said that me and my friends are not welcome back in this mall ever again so i mean technically i'm the only one from my friend group that got banned from the mall because they have no documentation on my friends so there's really no way of them telling who they are so yeah um that's the story of how i got banned for my mall forever i hope you guys did enjoy today's story time if you guys did please let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see more of these but yeah guys thanks so much for watching this video all the way into the end it really does help me out a lot uh you guys are the real g's for that don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up subscribe to the channel ring that bell and yeah guys i'll see you tomorrow with another video peace out yeah keed has a d to keep it real swallow the pill show me the thrill follow the dream to keep it silly grind on the daily just to stay up late money is great but the fans are what makes it okay he wants a smile on your face never see a frown and on the rainy days he'll keep on grinding till he makes his place in the world
world full of fakes. Get the shit out of his face.